Okay, I wanna give you guys a really life-changing tip with social anxiety for when you have bad days. So you know when you get into a situation where you're in a social situation with someone and you feel like you fell because you can't act in the way that you wanna act, so you might be awkward, you might say the wrong things, you might not say nothing at all, you might be really quiet, you, you might be um, anxious with maintaining eye contact, you might look away or you might end the conversation prematurely or you just might feel insecure. So for the other person, they, they don't really care, they probably don't even see that, but inside when you go away from that situation, you overanalyze you know, what happened, what you did, you worry about what the person thought about you and then you can easily run off of a negative story, beat yourself up, be depressed and down for a whole day. For some people it can even get to them so much that they can be down for months and then take it upon themselves to decide that they're, they're so bad socially that there's no point with them going out and interacting with friends and meeting new people and coming outside their comfort zone enjoying their life because they're just going to be awkward and anxious and there's no point. You need to be really careful with this, guys. A lot of people, men with social anxiety, suffer this. I went through this myself. What I've learned about this is we all have bad days. You know, even with social anxiety, no matter what you do, you're always going to have days where you underperform uh, in regards to your own standards. It happens in the boxing gym. I was speaking to a guy the other day down the gym and I watched him spar and he did really well. So in the change room, I started a conversation. I just said, look, I was watching you spar the other day and you sparred really well, man. You know, you, you were sparring with like one of the best guys in the gym, the guy that runs the gym. And he's like, yeah, I really appreciate that. Thank you. He's like, but he goes, the other day, uh, I got my ass kicked and, and I couldn't perform the same. And, and he was telling me that it made him feel bad. And I could really relate to what he was saying. We've all been through that. I mean, I don't think that anyone on planet Earth could not relate to this and say they haven't been in a situation whether it's social or any area of life where they've performed and they've felt they underperformed and they've come away from that situation feeling terrible about themselves, having self-doubt, doubting themselves and then getting sad and depressed. But you've actually got the power to not allow that to happen. Now here's where the advice comes in. It's simple advice. Anyone can say it. I've done it. If you apply the advice, it would change your life. Every time you have a failed social situation, in, in, in your idea, I'm not saying anybody's failed in a social situation, but you know we judge ourselves harshly more than anyone else. What you do is you say, you know what, it didn't feel nice, of course it brought out all these horrible emotions, I'm gonna move on as quick as I can, take action again, go into another social situation and do a little bit better this time. Now I'm gonna use the word redeem yourself, it's a common word that I heard growing up. And sometimes you've got to redeem yourself because no matter how much I tell you that you're awesome, you're great, and it's a small thing, and it's not worth analyzing, it's not worth judging yourself, you're still going to do all that. Human psychology is stubborn until you really train it. So you're the one that's got to go away. Do this exercise, guys. Try this. Every time you fail and you feel bad, say, this is good. This was supposed to happen to me. I have to go through this to learn, to grow as a person, to toughen up, to be better, and to prepare myself for life challenges that's always gonna throw at me, especially when we're talking about getting over social anxiety. But the positive thing is, what can I learn from this? What is the one positive I can take from this that I can take into my next social interaction? I used to always teach this uh, when I would help guys get over their fears of talking to women, you know, when I was a, when I was a dating coach. If they felt like they got awkward or, or they embarrassed themselves or they couldn't uh, be honest and connect with a girl in a conversation, I'd say, look, what are the positives? I can see three positives. You might struggle to see one because you, your mind is very uh, negative the way that you think. So, so this is something that you've got to train over time. It's a habit. It's a habit of you manually choosing to not think negative, not to allow a couple of negative emotions to bring you down. Get, get excited, get empowered, get inspired. What happens is, so let's say you go into a social situation, it goes really bad, you feel terrible. But then when you go into another one, when it goes well, not only do you feel great about it going well, it actually makes you feel better about the, the, the past one that didn't go well, because now you can put two and two together and go, well, hang on a minute, I had a bad experience there, but I had a great experience there. If I didn't have the bad experience and I didn't and didn't let that defeat me and I didn't keep going, I wouldn't have had the good experience. Another little analogy. 
obviously at some point we'll get our heart, hearts broken. No one wants to. I don't wish on anyone. It's inevitable at some point. We break hearts and we get heartbroken. But if you quit and never date anyone ever again because of fear of that happening again, you're never going to fall in love. A lot of people go on and say, got my heart broken and then found the love of my life later on. And if I didn't go through that, would never have been happy. So this is, this is the, um, the mindset and I haven't found anything more superior th than, than this practice, what I've said to you with regards to dealing with bad social days or bad social situations. And I've given the analogy before. My first public speech I ever done, it went terrible. It went bad, but there were positives. The positives were I did it. I went, I faced my biggest fear, which is um, getting embarrassed publicly. And then the next one I did, the next several, I was brilliant, absolutely brilliant. But I could never have been brilliant at the other public talks if I didn't go through the first failed one and I didn't learn to motivate myself. So I'll say the cheesy line again, I'm probably saying it in a lot of videos, I'm a big Batman fan. And he says in the film, why do we fall? And then he responds with, so we can learn to pick ourselves back up. And that's what happens when you have days where you get awkward, don't go well, you fall and you learn to pick yourself back up. If you don't pick yourself back up, then you're just gonna stay in that dark place and nobody wants to be there. I don't want anyone to be there and I don't wanna be there. So have a forward thinking attitude, move forward and you'll have so much better day. Just this one change in your thought process and a change of the way that you um, see your failures and then you can actually go, there's no failure in any of this. It's all about enjoying the process, it's all about learning, falling over, getting back up again. Before you know it, you'll be on top of the world, you'll be in a fantastic place. I rest my case, that's how, how you deal with it. If you've got loads of value from this video, please give it a like, share, subscribe to the channel. Let me know in the box below um, how you feel. Did this video help you? Any more questions you've got? And as always, if you wanna take that next step and you wanna get my mentorship, um, you, can in, you can inquire about my um, six-week Skype program, Online Coaching for Social Anxiety, by emailing me. I'll get back to you in 48 hours. We'll do a free Zoom call, about 40 minutes. Uh, we'll talk over your issues, your goals, and then we'll mo make a decision if we want to move forward and, and work together. Um, so I look forward to the call if you want to book the call. But for all of you, go practice this. Please come back to this video or the channel and let me know how this worked for you because life-changing, all right? Become fearless.